morning. Charlie. This is Sergeant Chris Novak. Sergeant? I got a wake-up call 5 a.m. this morning from Commander Clayton. He wants Metro to jump in on these campus killings, and he wants Sergeant Novak to be part of it. I'm just along to assist. I hope that's not going to be a problem. Now, there was a hit and run last night down on the campus of Crawford U. The preliminary medical examiner's report says that the victim may have struggled with someone before she ran out on the road. Now, if that's true, that someone may be our campus killer. We're going to need a tactical as soon as possible. All right, I'm going to go see Clayton, and when I get back, we'll set this all up, right? Good luck. How you been, Rick? Been just fine. How about yourself? Ups and downs, but overall, I've been okay, too. Good. How's Allison doing? She's great. Rick. I feel really bad about this. Clayton called me last night. I didn't know you were going to be involved until this morning. If this is awkward for you, I can pull out. Awkward for me? No, it's not awkward for me. What about you? Well, I don't know. I hope you understand. Oh, I understand, all right. Look, Rick. We have an awful lot of work to do, Chris, so why don't we just get at it, OK? Good morning. Here's the way this is going to work. We're going to try to coordinate this mess between Homicide and Metro. Sergeant Hunter's going to be in charge at this end, and all the information will go through him. Say hello to Sergeant Chris Novak here. She's uh, going to join us after a leave of absence. She's got a lot of experience in psychopathology. She'll be Assistant Sergeant Hunter. She'll be in the chain of command, too. OK, Hunter. OK, this is what we know so far. There have been four killings, all on different campuses. Two on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, and one on Friday. All the victims have been taken from campus to someplace else and strangled. So far, we have no leads. What about the hit and run last night at Crawford University? Last night was a Wednesday night. Yes, we think that victim was assaulted first. We're looking at all the campuses. So we're looking for a thread, a common denominator that links the victims. Right. A sorority they belong to, their major, the area they were from, even their dentist. I think the real break is going to come on the campuses, though. It's a long shot, but it's all we got. OK. You know, Nora Simons and her team just get busy with this stuff. Jill Hayward, Nancy was leaving the library back to her dormitory on this path when she met someone right about here. She was forced off the path, down this embankment, all the way down, across the sidewalk, into the street where she was hit by a car. We have to assume that she was attacked because of the scratches and bruises on her neck. Right. The driver was almost on her when he hit the brakes. The skid marks are only, what, 15 feet? Yeah, that was dark. Maybe didn't see her to the last minute. There was a full moon last night. Plus, these lights are enough to illuminate it to see her. Yeah. Well, whoever came around that curve might have been out of control. Maybe he was drunk? Whoever chased this girl down this embankment stood right about here. Probably saw the whole thing happen. Yeah, that's a possibility. It's also a possibility that the driver saw him. Forensics made a cast impression of the prints we found. Size 9, common variety athletic shoe. Must be over 250,000 people in LA alone wearing these shoes. Certainly narrows it down. The particles of paint in Nancy's clothes come from a metallic gray Oldsmobile cutlass. Oxidation tells us it's seven or eight years old. I'm sure he'll want to get the damage repaired. We'll get some people on it right away. Good. I'm going to run over to the university and talk with uh, Nancy Chamberlain's roommate. What are you looking for? I don't know. Come on, Dirk. You can do better than that. You dated her. Why'd you lie about knowing her? I just got scared, all right? Because you attacked her. You talked to her roommate, huh? Look, she doesn't know anything. She wasn't there. But you did attack her. No! I, I didn't. Look, it's Nancy's word against mine, and she's dead. Oh, boy. You are a piece of work, aren't you? 
What size shoe you wear? What size shoe? Looks like about a nine to me, right? Yeah, I guess so. You have a pair of athletic shoes? What are you talking about? Do you have a pair of athletic shoes? Yes, I do. You bite your nails, don't you? What is it with you guys? Yeah, he bites them. Yeah, I bite my nails. So what? Can I talk to you for a second? I'll go away. The medical report said she had scratches on her arms and face, remember? Yeah, the guy attacked her had long fingernails now. Oh, this guy's not the guy anyway. Rick? Why don't you give me a ride home? Look, Rick, I know that you're angry. I didn't handle things very well, and I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah, that's just great, Chris. You walk out of my life without saying goodbye, you have your ex-husband Al do it. We were all cops. He couldn't handle it. Well, Al couldn't handle it. No, you couldn't handle it, Chris. You were in the middle of a divorce, and Al decides who you're going to date. He didn't decide. I decided. You know that. Try to see it from my side. I was going through a divorce. I had a baby. I had the pressures of the job. Chris, I was not asking you to marry me. I didn't ask you to change your lifestyle around for me. All I wanted to do was be with you. That was a safe spot for you, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yes, you were. But then you became more than that, and I got scared. You got scared? Yes, I did. Look, for whatever it's worth, I did the best that I could. Yeah, I know, and you kept me from doing the best I could. That's not fair. Do you want to come in and see Allison? No. I mean, I do want to see you, but not tonight. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Hey, Chris, I'm not done with this. 